Four years ago, Sally Watts and her daughter-in-law, Jan, had an idea to start a military room display at the Macon County Historical Society Museum. It started off as a small room on the second floor of the museum, but it grew so fast that they had to end up moving to the basement area. Today, many soldiers are profiled here, dating all the way back to the Civil War. It's a room that these ladies are very proud of. But we have close to 700 names with pictures and information on them and all kinds of artifacts and hats and uniforms. I think we have something here that everybody needs to kind of come and see and it's, it's just an awesome display. Every year, hundreds come from all over to visit the military room and are just amazed with it. Most of them are just can't believe it. They come in, uh, turn the light on and open the door and it's, oh, wow, look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's one of the first things they say. And then they just look through everything and start looking for names and information. We got newspaper clippings from Pearl Harbor days and books and pictures. And they just like to start looking and see what they can find. Sally says this display couldn't be possible without the community support. Everybody's just very much generous with uh, donating things and, and if they want to donate it, they do, or maybe they just put it on display or uh, put it on loan. But whatever they do, it's here for the, the whole world to come and see it. Even though we have holidays such as Veterans Day to help remember our brave men and women who have done so much for this country, the Wattses want you to remember that they have fought for our freedom every day. It's needed to show honor and respect for all of our service members that have gone and dedicated their lives for our freedoms as Americans, and we should never forget any of them. It just shows a lot of respect. It gives us a little light in our window to see all these guys down here being honored. Some of them we personally knew, some of them we didn't, but someone does, and we all love and respect every one of them for what they've done for our country. Reporting from Macon, Missouri, Vanessa Alonso, KTVO News.